If a forest is dying, you can regenerate it with mushrooms. So mushrooms can save the world. Well, basically, I had a near-death experience when I was 20, like mm -hmm. I nearly died. Um, and then from this experience, I saw something that I had my own experience, and it, it gave me more understanding about life, you know? It's like, it, mm -hmm. was like, it was like an instant download of information, you mm -hmm. know? So, because of that, um, mm. it made me more curious for different things. I started meditating, I started doing all these different things, and... Uh, I started learning more, I started watching like podcasts, listening to people talk. And at that time I was, I was doing a lot of gym and I remember I was listening to one of my favorite uh, uh, bodybuilders at the time. This is when I was 20. And he was speaking about how he had a life-changing experience when he went to South America to do ayahuasca. Ah. Yeah, and then I was like life-changing and he, he was talking about DMT because DMT is inside of ayahuasca. And then he was explaining that DMT is the dream molecule that is released when you sleep. It's released when you have a near-death experience. And then I was like, ah, that's why I saw these things when I had a near-death experience. Because the DMT was released in my brain. It's a psychedelic. So then... Yeah, so... Um, basically, there's been some studies. There's actually a website that everybody can check out. Uh, it's called maps.org. M-A-P-S dot org, okay? It's an organization called the Multidisciplinary Association for Psychedelic Studies because naturally after I had these amazing experiences and I saw myself growing, I saw myself learning things, I was wondering why doesn't everybody know this? Why doesn't everybody know the power of these things, you know? So I started searching on the internet and I found that there is actually a big group of people that are, are out there and they're trying to, to share this information and they're, they're doing more scientific studies on psychedelics mm -hmm. and what they can do for people, you know? Um, so yeah, this organization they're doing lots of scientific studies on the on different uh, compounds within psychedelics. Like for example, the compound uh, that is in magic mushrooms, which is called psilocybin, mm -hmm. um, they now have it's been proven that it can treat depression. It can treat treat depression, but also it causes something called neurogenesis. Mm -hmm. So what neurogenesis is is the birth of new brain cells. Okay, mm -hmm. and the repairing it basically repairs your brain. You know, mm -hmm. but they found that. The neurogenesis uh, has a higher rate when you take low doses, so uh, micro doses. So mm -hmm. now you probably heard, you can probably hear that there's um, in uh, Silicon Valley in America where they have, where the, all the, the, the tech guys are making computers and stuff, and they started microdosing with LSD because it helped them at work to me be more creative, because mm -hmm. it helps your brain work at a higher pace, faster pace, and helps you to look at things from a different perspective and obviously when when nobody has a uh, an ego then nobody thinks they're right you know they're working mm -hmm. as a team mm -hmm. because the ego wants him to be right you know the, mm -hmm. the ego doesn't let you to be working as a team you know yeah so so um, yeah the microdosing uh, is something I've been experimenting with um, where I would microdose for five days and I, I, I noticed that I was able to like I would be reading a book at the same time watching like a tutorial video and maybe sometimes writing as well uh, and doing different things and, and but that's who I am anyway because I have a lot of different interests so I, I mm -hmm. tend to bounce from one thing to another thing but I found that the, mu the mushrooms are enabled me to handle it better because mm -hmm. maybe somebody else became stressed with this but um, I don't know like the mushrooms really did help uh, my, my, my brain feels like it goes really fast now mm -hmm. much faster than before um, so I think it's almost a nootropic. Nootropic is like a, 
it's like a word for um, for like improving the brain, you know. It's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's, a, it's a brain nootropic, I would say. I think in the future, when more information comes out, people will start to use it as an actual supplement for their brain. You know? mm -hmm. um, but in higher doses, it's more kind of uh, whether you want to use the word spiritual or it's more uh, awakening. That those are what the higher doses are for. Mm -hmm. Like. And for depression, also higher doses is probably better because the higher doses are very intense. You know, mm -hmm. the higher doses aren't really for making your brain faster. Uh, although they do, but, but it's more for the experience because it's very dramatic and it makes you. It just makes you change. Mm -hmm. Like one thing you're guaranteed when you take mushrooms is you're going to change, and mm -hmm. they make you. One thing they make you. Uh, they make you m more ecologically conscious. So you are more conscious about nature mm -hmm. when you when you when you use psychedelics, after you use psychedelics, it's like, it's almost like the mushrooms are talking to you, you know, mm -hmm. it's like they're giving you the information, you are, Direct. you, yeah, you, exactly, mm -hmm. you, these are, like, uh, people see mushrooms as something that is just like a plant or, a, you know, something that's not alive, they are alive, just like us, just because they can't speak, they can't, they don't have eyes, they don't move like us, doesn't mean they're not alive, they are mm -hmm. alive, so are the trees, they're communicating underneath the ground, all together. So when you when you eat these things, you're getting their information, you know, mm -hmm. and they have been here be longer than us. Mm -hmm. And there's a book by uh, a guy called Paul Stamets. He's mm -hmm. a myc mycologist. He's a, sci a scientist of mushrooms. He studies mushrooms his whole life. He's in his 60s now. Mm -hmm. uh, his book is called Mycelium Running. So for anybody that wants to read it, it's amazing. It's called How Mushrooms Can Save the World, mm -hmm. and it gives you the history of mushrooms and, fun and fungi and how. They have. They were here before us, before the tr before nature. Mm -hmm. They were here first. They built everything. They're like this. Re they're just regenerative uh, force in nature. Mm -hmm. Like you can, if a forest is dying, you can regenerate it with mushrooms. Yeah, man, it's, it's really it's interesting. Awesome. Yeah, man, it's awesome. So Jesus. mushrooms can save the world, man.